Hello, I'm Chris Menard. I have a great Zoom video for you today. Zoom recently came out with this cool feature that you can use PowerPoint as a virtual background. Also, just so you know this, if you're a Mac user, you can use Keynote as a virtual background. So I'm going to run you through this and I'll have chapters down below. So if you want to jump around, you can, but I'm going to cover this in these steps that I thought would be the most logical to do. First, I'm going to end up sharing PowerPoint as the virtual background. Then I'll talk about hosting requirements and I'll discuss both the PC and then I'll also discuss the Mac, even though I'm on a PC right now. Next, I want to discuss viewer requirements. So we've got hosting requirements and we have viewer requirements. What are the viewer requirements? And I'll look at both uh, whether you're on a smartphone or you're on a computer. Next, I'll start taking a look at moving through my slides when PowerPoint is my virtual background. I'll also take a look at um, resizing my video because I'm, I'm superimposed in PowerPoint, moving my video. I'll also take a look at what if I, do, what if I want to hide my video and just show the PowerPoint, how to do that. And finally, I'm going to step out and tell you about some recording options that I figured out this morning when I was playing around with this. So let's go ahead and get started with the first part is actually sharing PowerPoint as a virtual background. So I've got, I'm the host, I've got a PowerPoint running. I'm going to go and share my screen. When you go to share screen by default, let me move this a little bit out of the way. There you go. When you share your screen, by default, you're on basic. You want to come over here to advanced. When you click on advanced, there is PowerPoint as virtual background. It does say beta. What I read from Zoom's website, though, is if you have all the requirements, everyone has this. So this isn't one of those features that are rolled out just to a few people and then later rolling out to everyone else. So after I select that, one more tip from me. If you have a bunch of PowerPoints already running before you do this, I would recommend you close them all except the one PowerPoint that you want. The second tip that I have, when I was testing this, it doesn't matter if that one PowerPoint is running or closed because no matter what, you've got to go select it. So right now, I don't have any PowerPoints running. So I'm going to go hit share just so you can see that. And now it says, what PowerPoint do you want? There it is. I hit open. Now, I've been playing in this, so just give me one second. Sorry. Usually, you're going to be in the bottom right corner, and usually you may be like that. So I'll get into resizing in just a second. Really easy. Here, I'm going to make myself a little larger right now. So really easy. The next portion I'll talk about is hosting requirements. You need, for the PC or the Mac, you need Zoom 5.2.0 or higher. Your computer, PC or Mac, must also meet the requirements, the system requirements for having a virtual background, or you can't do this. And the third requirement for both is having PowerPoint installed locally. So those are the three requirements. They apply to both the PC and the Mac. The Mac, if you want to run Keynote, you would need Keynote installed locally. Viewer requirements. For someone, if I'm sharing my PowerPoint as a virtual background, viewer requirements are Zoom 5.2.0 or higher, PC or Mac, or Linux actually. Mobile app requirements, Android or iOS 5.2.0 or higher. If you don't have the viewer requirements, you would still be seeing my PowerPoint, but you would not be seeing me. So I've shared my PowerPoint as the virtual background. We've talked about hosting requirements. I discussed viewer requirements. Let me tell you now how to go from one slide to the next. Here are my slides. Here's my little controls. I'm the host. I'm sharing. Your audience or participants are not seeing this down here, which is good. So I, I tested that. So I went to slide two, I'm gonna click again and go to slide three. That simple. Little tip for me also. I tried some normal PowerPoint 
keyboard shortcuts when you're running your slideshow. For example, spacebar would usually advance me. It seemed like it worked one time and didn't work the next. Backspace would take you back a slide. So with the letter P for previous, just stick with the meeting controls in Zoom for your PowerPoint. That is one recommendation I have. Also, let's now talk about here I am. If I want to either resize or move, just stick with the meeting controls. And I know it says resize. Click on resize and I'll get blue borders going around my image. Another tip your audience will not see those blue borders. So if I resize, that is a resize. I can resize from any of the four corners. It doesn't matter. If you want to move, you can click. And I just moved the video. Another tip, click outside here. If you want to just stick with the meeting controls, but you can also just come in here and click one time and now I can move and resize again. You're saying, why would I want to move my video? Here's a good example. Let's say I'm here talking and I'm going through my slides so far so good. But now look, I'm covering some of the animation I'm trying to talk about. So maybe I go up to the top right. Okay. So there's that feature. Now, I want to just hide the video. I don't even want to be on it. So let me put it back in the bottom right. This is where it normally is by default. And again, I've been playing in here. This is how my PowerPoint would normally look. One item I did as I came up here, since I'm the only one in this meeting, I right-clicked on my image and I did a hide self-view. I'm just doing that again because I'm recording right now for you. In real life, this would be fine, but I'm going to hide my self view. So there's hide self view and show. So here you go. Now I want to actually not show myself on the PowerPoint. So if I come stick with the meeting controls, split video from PowerPoint. Watch this. Notice my actual virtual background appears again now. To put myself back into PowerPoint again. Stick with the meeting controls. Merge video and PowerPoint. Now I'm back. And again, I can do whatever I want to with my video. Couple other items I want to mention. When I was testing this morning, I, set, I decided, well, let me test recording. So if I go and record locally, record on this computer, because if you recall, everyone can record locally, meaning if you have a paid Zoom account, obviously you can record locally. If you have a free Zoom account, you can record locally. So everyone can record locally. But as the host, when I recorded locally, wherever I put my video is where it actually showed recording, which is a cool feature. So if you move your video around, it'll work. I joined my meeting also as a guest. And if you recall, as a guest, I had to request permissions to record, but I recorded locally and it worked also. Again, just another point. If the guest doesn't have Zoom 5.2.0 or doesn't have the virtual background requirements, they may not see you, but at least they still see your PowerPoint. I appreciate your time. I have over 40 Zoom videos. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have a wonderful day.